So welcome guys again to Protein Mass at BSF Nairobi. This is your friend again, Kim. Uh, well guys, I've been telling you about uh, the cow dung. Well, we, 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 today, if you can have a look at this one here. Today we were able to get uh, a better cow dung. This is much cleaner. You can remember the one for last time. It was so dirty. It, was, it wasn't like this. You get a look at this, it's this much cleaner. So I had to drive all the way like 40 kilometers to get this. But uh, I, just have to, uh, I just have to do it for you guys. And uh, so today I want to repeat the same thing. I have a friend from, uh, from India. I know my, my friend is watching. Uh, he told me to try something and uh, I really want to try it. So today, let me just uh, do a few. I, I want to do uh, a mixture of uh, the cow dung, uh, maize bran, and wheat bran. So what my friend was telling me is that uh, when you mix when you mix uh, wheat bran and cow dung, there are more spaces of air and oxygen can be able to, to get into it. But the results I don't know. So I want again to try because. Remember, most of you guys out there are able to access uh, cow dung. Most of you are telling me we, they have lots and lots of cow dung. So we, want, we are just trying to see how we can be able to work together with you guys and be able to uh, get better results. I'm telling you always guys, BSF is, is, is the game changer. BSF is everything that we're doing right now. It's everything we need to do all over. Once again, just to remind you, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please uh, click on the notification bell. That once we'll be doing such videos, we'll be able to see them. Again, don't leave your neighbor alone. Please, 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 I beg you. Call your neighbor, share with your neighbor, share your, with your friends. Tell them to subscribe and be able to get a, a viral to this. So please, let me just show you. I just want to weigh, to weigh this. Uh, this is my weighing scale. So let me just wait. So let me just get the weight of this crate. This crate is around 1.4. 1.4. As you can see that. That's the weight of the crate, 1.4. So I just do a press tear. So that I can be able to minus that. You see that it's mi minus 1.4 right now. So I'll be able now to uh, weigh these. And we know how much of uh, cow dung we are, we are dealing with. There you go. This 8 kg of cow dung. And uh, both, we are doing 8 kg of cow dung. Let me just get that out. And uh, I weigh also this one. We're going to do two because I want to do wheat bran and I want to do maize, maize bran. Again, 8 kg. As you can see, 8 kg. And then I get it off. And then now, this is my wheat bran. If you can get a closer look at it, this is my wheat bran. So let's just uh, let me measure this, and we see we're doing around one point eight. Four five, so one point eight less, less something very little to to two kg. Even this is the same. The same. So it's like we're dealing with two kg. This is a uh, maize bran. So I want to do two kg of maize bran here and two kg of wheat bran, and then we'll see. So let me just get this weigh scale off and then we get to do the rest so allow me just to pour these here and we'll check on the results much later so I'm doing the first one I'm doing is a maize bran 2 kg Plus uh, cow dung, uh, 8 kg. So let me just mix it up well. 
and let me do it well. The reason are uh, they always say cow dung is not the best, but uh, I really want to get the best results from from there. We'll be able to get our our results and be able to know whether it's not the best or what is it. Some of you guys are able to get uh, the maize bran cheaply, uh, but I really don't know. But for us here, it's costly. It's costly. So. I'm just incurring this cost for you guys. That's why again I'm requesting you guys let's go viral. Let's go viral. Let, let's go viral. Uh, I haven't put some. Uh, I wanted to make it wet a little bit, but my cow dung is wet. So let me not just do it. Let, let me not do it wet. My cow dung is already wet, but if, if it was too dry, I would have done something different. Let me do the wheat bran now. That's 2 kg. That's 2 kg. So let me just mix it up again. What, what my friend in India was telling me was that uh, once I begin to mix it this way, uh, it got some, uh, uh, brings in some, uh, allows some air to get in. There is enough oxygen. So let me just try it and see. I don't want to do it wrong if, if my cow dung was too too dry I would have used some little bit of water so so let, let me do this Will allow me first to add some little bit of water and uh, I see how it's gonna be because it's a little bit dry so let me just let me just add, add, a, add a, little, a little bit of water and then I'll show you how it looks like so just allow me two three minutes get some water put in and then I'll show you how it is so See you in the next few minutes. Yes. So guys, uh, I've done uh, mixing. You can just come and get a closer look. Uh, I just wanted to make it a little bit wet. Uh, so I, I, got, I got this yesterday. But I think I delayed a little bit because, you know, uh, when you're getting your cow dung, it's really, it's really very wet. So once I mixed it with the, with the bran, uh, it got dry so I saw it would be so hard for the uh, larvae to digest so I just made it a little bit wet so that's how it looks like so what I've done the red crates I've done the wheat bran the yellow crates I've done the maize bran so let me just feed them with the larvae let me just mix this larvae very well and then I feed them so we, we will see the results later that's it the one with the wheat bran uh, is in red crates okay, by the side oh my god it's, it's close by the side closer so I always get my lavish mixed together very well so that I don't pick in one section there are so many so I just do three handfuls and we will see the results 
three handfuls and we're gonna see the results so guys so that's it uh, once again I want to appreciate my friend from India uh, I, I know you're watching this video and as I always tell you guys uh, sharpen iron sharpens iron, sharpen, uh, iron, sharpens iron. And uh, it's very important because I didn't know about this by my friend from India who's been watching and sharing his, uh, with, my, uh, with his friends. Uh, told me uh, if you do cow dang and then you mix it with wheat bran or maize jam, it, it uh, creates some good air in between there and then they may do well. So I'm just saying for you guys, and once more again, guys, let's just give it uh, another maybe like uh, seven days and then we'll, see, we'll, we'll try to get the results. The, the person I did it was so bad uh, it didn't do well completely totally completely did well but now seven days once they're done we'll get back here and we're going to see how they are so once again guys this is protein master bsf nairobi i request you guys please subscribe share with a friend don't just watch this video and not share with a friend we need to go viral we need to, to share with friends you and me we can make the world a better place Farmers are giving up in doing dairy. They are giving up in doing uh, in pigs and fish. Please, you've got the chance to share this information. Share your knowledge. I'm sharing this knowledge. That's why you're there. And I need you to be on the other side. But also, put it on the other side to somebody else to be able to get this knowledge. Uh, we are living a short time in this life. We should not die with this old knowledge within ourselves. Let's share. Maybe God set us here to be sharing these ideas so maybe the same to you pass it don't allow uh, yourself to just to remove the same knowledge share with a friend even if you're not ready to start share with somebody else maybe who's ready to start be yourself once again guys i'm telling you always be yourself is a game changer this small i love is here these are game changers these are going to feed uh, the entire nation the entire world these are game changers full of protein and very well so from protein master i say thank you and lots of love from me kim and please i never stop saying this subscribe again and again tell your brother your sister your friend your family your neighbor share it to the relevant institutions tell your local governments about these less us projects with local governments that will help the youth in this country in your country share these let's empower the youth also let's empower the old the youth are seated there without work but there is a great work here they can start in your you can start this in your country with your local community so please there's a lot to share so thank you again as we wait for the results until after seven days see you then and god bless you thank you so much